really awesome. So my name is Manu. I lead Xiaomi's business in India. And super excited to be here today. You know, today is probably the biggest and the most anticipated mobile phone launch of the year. And I'm pretty sure we're going to give you a lot of surprises. And we were, when we were planning this day, we said we have to ensure everybody who wants to attend should be able to attend this launch event. So this is the biggest launch event for last three years. We have a big stadium. We have about 1,500 people here in the room. And we have probably few tens of thousands, a few lakh people watching us live right now. Here in the stadium, we have about 1,000 Mi fans. All our Mi fans, give me a shout. Uh, we have few hundred of our partners and we have few hundred media colleagues. So thank you so much guys for joining in today. Especially our Mi fans, I know many of you have traveled a long distance to join us today. And you'll be surprised to know all our Mi fans who are present in here, they've contributed 480 rupees each. Why 480? 48 megapixel, right? So each of our fans have contributed 480 rupees each to join this event. So 1000 Mi fans into 480, about 5 lakh rupees. So I'm happy to share that we're taking this money. Thank you. So we're taking this money and we're contributing this to Bharat Ke Veer, which is an organization for our soldiers, and especially for the families of soldiers uh, who died during the tragic uh, terrorist attack. This is in addition to the two crore rupees that Shawm India contributed to the same contribution. So thank you so much guys for being part of this special thing today. So let's start the show. I'll start by telling a little bit about Xiaomi. So of course you guys know this, innovation for everyone, which means we really want to launch great quality, amazing innovative products and make them accessible so that everybody can enjoy technology. And you know, this has worked really well in India. If you look at last few years, we have probably become the most loved technology brand in the country. And I'm using my words very carefully, the most loved technology brand. You know why? Because we are now number one across multiple categories. We are number one in smartphones, number one in smart TVs, number one in variables, and number one in power banks. So thank you so much guys for giving us all the love. Within the smartphone category, we have now been the number one brand for six consecutive quarters. We became number one in Q3 2017. And since then, every single quarter, we have been the number one brand. In fact, if you look at the IDC report for the year 2018, the entire calendar year 2018, we were number one with about 28.9% market share. As per IDC, we shipped about 41 million units. But what is most surprising is, we grew at a whopping 58.6% year on year from 2017 to 2018. Thank you. And this is incredible because amongst the top five brands, we were probably the fastest growing brand even at this scale. And the gap between us and the second brand has been growing has been increasing quarter on quarter. If you look at just the Q4 numbers, Q4 2018, we were again at 28.9% market share. The second largest brand, Samsung, was at about 18.7% market share. <coughs> Sorry, so a 10% gap, and all other brands were below 10%. And if you look at the absolute shipment between us and the second largest brand, which is Samsung, as per IDC, Samsung shipped about 6.8 million units in Q4 and we did about 10.5. So a 54% gap between Xiaomi and the second largest brand in the country. Thank you. And one of the big reasons for success for all of us have been our journey in offline. You know, offline is a journey that we just started about one and a half years ago. And today we have grown from less than 1% market share one and a half years ago to more than 20% market share in just a short period of 18 months. So a big shout out to all our 5,000 plus me preferred partners who have helped us achieve this. Thank you. I see a lot of our offline partners over here. Uh, and then in the online segment, 
which is where we started. Of course, we continue to remain a very dominant brand. We're number one for nine consecutive quarters. And not just this, we continue to have a 50% market share, now, which is incredible. Because if you look at the entire year, if there were two people who bought a phone online, one out of two were Xiaomi customers. And we were about six to seven times bigger than the second, third, and fourth largest brands within the online segment. Now, a lot of products are loved by all of you guys. And one special product that we're really proud of is our Redmi Note series. Now, this is one series which has really redefined the mid-premium segment in India. In the year 2014, we launched Redmi Note 4G. That was the first affordable 4G phone in the country. A dual band 4G phone, which was supporting both the bands and was priced under 10,000 rupees. Then Redmi Note 3, the global debut of 650. Redmi Note 4 introduced 625, our favorite processor. <laughs> and of course, last year, we introduced Redmi Note 5 Pro, the global debut of Snapdragon 636. And we know all of you guys, the entire country loves Redmi Note. You know why? You can see it in the numbers. Again, IDC numbers, and you can see how Redmi Note shipments have increased year on year. If you just count the Redmi Note series in one year, we ship more than 12 million phones in one calendar year in this series. Now, 12 million is a pretty big number. If Redmi Note was an independent brand, it would probably be the third or the fourth largest brand in India right now. Now, we have compared this with some of the largest brands in the country, and you'll be surprised that Redmi Note is bigger than three or four brands combined together. If you combine Realme, Honor, Huawei, and Asus, just Redmi Note. Thank you. Just Redmi Note is bigger than all four brands put together in the country. And this is possible because all of you guys are me fans, you give us feedback. Whenever we're planning to launch a product, we take feedback from you guys. Now, this is a me fan meet that we did in Bangalore a few weeks ago. The phone that I'm, handing, I'm having in my hand is a Redmi Note 7. We showcased it to some of you guys, took active feedback, and I'm happy to share that we're incorporating a lot of that feedback in today's launch. We also did a social media post just yesterday asking you guys, how many surprises do we have for all of you guys? Any guesses? Okay, how many people think we'll have three surprises? No. How many people think four? Four. Okay. How many five? Okay. So we'll not disappoint you. We will have five surprises for all the people sitting here in this room. So stay tuned. We'll take about one and a half hours. A lot of really cool things planned. What do you think will be the first surprise? Sorry, I cannot hear you. Okay. So the first surprise and probably the biggest surprise is that we are launching Redmi Note 7 Pro. And this is the global debut of this phone here in India right now. The phone that we are about to launch has not been launched anywhere in the world. So, and to talk about this, I'll call on stage somebody who is more handsome than me. Mr. Tom Cruise. Can I get on stage Mr. Anush Sharma? the head of marketing for Xiaomi India. My main man, Manu. Thank you. And a warm welcome to all our partners, our media colleagues, and of course, all our fans. Welcome to the launch of the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Now, it's a great privilege for me to be here to introduce to you something which I think fundamentally will change the industry forever. It's a landmark product. And not just that, with the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we are bringing in 
a massive 48 megapixel camera beast. It's not just that, the Redmi Note 7 Pro redefines design, takes performance to the very next level and of course you've got an amazing flagship camera. Frankly it's amazing what a phone at a truly honest price can do. Let's get into the first part straight away, design. And with the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we have gone grounds up and completely changed our design philosophy. And to look at that design philosophy, I'll play a video. Just take a look. This is where it all began. The first Redmi Note ever created. The beginning of a path-breaking legacy in the world of smartphones. A legacy that has exceeded expectations with every successor and refined and reinvented itself time and again. When we started designing the Redmi Note 7 series, we wanted to take this legacy to the next level. The device has been crafted with the aim of a premium design and aesthetic. We wanted to provide an experience so immersive that it truly wows the user. All along ensuring no compromise on the functional features that our fans have always adored. And that is what led us to the Aura Design philosophy. The impact of Aura Design is clear at first glance. The symmetric seamless design draws your attention immediately. In your hand, the new note feels premium and ergonomically designed. Truly a class apart. And that's not all. We've carefully crafted the bezel, the notch and the overall user experience to ensure that the new note immerses you deeply into every experience that you desire. What really makes a new Redmi Note an excellent device is its functional design. We've ensured that no small accidents, spills or drops will ever degrade the quality and performance of your premium device. And of course, we've retained all the practical features that you've always loved. So get ready for the best Redmi Note yet with the all-new Aura design. Xiaomi. So with the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we are bringing in an all-new Aura design. As you saw, the Aura design philosophy is a factor of three things. We are giving an incredibly immersive experience. There's a lot of attention to detail. And we are doing all of this, making a beautiful device without compromising on the functionality. Something that our Mi fans have always loved. Moving into the immersive experience. For the first time ever on a Redmi Note, we are using a 19.5 is to 9 dot notch display. Now this is a full HD display that takes brightness and contrast levels to a whole new level. But what I want you to look at is that we also have used the most expensive LCD technology available today, the LTPS in cell screen. Now this is incredibly important because the LTPS in cell screen uses less power and also generates less heat. And with that, we are able to push this all the way to the edges to give you a bezel that's narrower than ever before. At just 1.95 mm, it's a true engineering marvel. And with this new aspect ratio and smaller bezels, what we've been able to do is with the Redmi Note 7 Pro in almost the same footprint as the Redmi Note 5 Pro and the Note 6 Pro, we're giving a larger display. Now it's a 6.3 inch display. Not just that, with the Note 7 Pro, we have retained and in some cases reintroduced some of our fan favorites. We have the sunlight display. When you go out, the Redmi Note 7 Pro screen enhances brightness, improves the overall contrast and even to give you a more natural image, adjusts the color saturation. So when you are outside in bright sunlight, it's still a comfortable viewing experience. And talking about a comfortable viewing experience, if it's low light, we also have a reading mode and this has been certified by TUV where it cuts off the blue light improves the overall readability, reduces eye strain, so that when you get that last game or the last kill before that night, you still aren't really uh, stressing your eyes. And 
along with the display, along with the entire immersive nature, is the craftsmanship. On the Redmi Note 7 Pro, for the first time, we have a 2.5D curved glass, and not just in the front, but the back as well. And this is incredibly important, because this curvature that you get, both in the front and the back, seamlessly blends in with the frame, giving you this perfect unibody experience. The hand feel on the Note 7 Pro is absolutely amazing. It's something that you do not expect from a device like this. Uh, what's also interesting is, and some of the Mi fans I'm sure will notice this later, is the flash actually is underneath the glass. It's that seamless overall design. Amazing attention to detail. And talking about more attention to detail, we also are introducing for the first time a gradient finish. Now this is six layers coming together to give you this incredible finish. It's absolutely gorgeous and it comes in multiple colors. Let's take a look at the first one. Now that's the Neptune Blue. Now it looks absolutely amazing with the entire gradient finish coming in. Uh, another angle for the Neptune Blue and you can absorb this more. Uh, it is a really good device. Uh, one more angle for Note 7 Pro's Neptune Blue color. Now not just that, we've taken the gradient finish to another level and we also have the Nebula Red. Looks absolutely stunning, almost from all angles that you look at it. And again, you can see the frame is matching with the entire gradient finish. It is an outstanding looking device. Another angle. Now these are the two gradient finishes that we've got. What happens if you have someone in your team, someone who's a little more conservative, someone like probably Manu. For him, these colors are a bit too much. He said it's for the younger people. Uh, I, I do like the blue. For those people, actually not. It, it's actually a really good color. Uh, we are also getting the classic space black. And this is a black that you've never seen before. It's absolutely stunning. It looks classy as well as it gives you this entire vibrance that you expect from the Note 7 Pro. Another angle for the space black and here are all three colors in the same frame. Absolutely stunning and I must commend our engineering team for doing an excellent job. Now these are renders but what happens is if when you see this device in person, when you hold it, how does that look? So we've taken a couple of shots of the phone. Now the next few images are not renders, these are actually photographs of the real device. Just to show you how good this actually looks. The Neptune Blue, by the way the color name is also really awesome, as good as the Rode 7 Pro. The Nebula Red, now these devices look absolutely stunning in real life. And of course after this we should get an idea and we should get a chance to feel these. And of course the classic black. Now, not just a good looking device, the Note 7 Pro also takes this entire build to the very next level. Both at the front and the back, we are introducing Corning's Gorilla Glass 5. And talking about being a very practical device, we are also introducing a Type-C port for the first time on the Note series. And of course, Jack is back. We never get got rid of it. Uh, now there's one more feature which the Mi fans love and none of the other brands have ever provided. Absolutely, only the Mi fans know this.
So with the IR Blaster, and almost all our uh, Redmi Note devices have had this, you can turn your Redmi Note 7 Pro into a universal remote. You can control thousands of devices, TVs, set-top boxes, game consoles, fans, pretty much everything that uses IR technology. It's something that our fans have absolutely loved and we are not giving up on that. So to sum it up from a design perspective, I'm sure you guys are loving what you saw. The Aura design, an all new philosophy, we've got an immersive 6.3 inch dot notch display with an all new aspect ratio of 19.5 is to 9. You have a LTPS in cell screen, again improved thermals, improved battery efficiency, you're pushing it all the way to the edges, smaller bezels. You've got a Corning Gorilla Glass 5, both at the front and the back. It's a 2.5D glass that merges in with the frame. And of course, that beautiful six layer gradient finish. And it's still a Redmi Note. It is as practical as ever before. Uh, it's got the headphone jack. It's still got the IR remote control and the, the all new Type-C. Now moving to the next section, and this is something that the Redmi Note series has always been known for. We've broken that entire uh, segment time and again in terms of how the Redmi Note has performed. And of course, talking about that, let's get into the performance part. And this of course is, we know, incredibly important to all our Mi fans, right? No? Okay, so before I get into uh, the performance part of it, I'll recap. So we talked about this last time as well. When we are selecting a processor, we look at three key things. Can it run all the apps and games smoothly? Does it have great thermals? And of course, it's a note, it has to give great battery life. So for kind of ticking all these boxes, I would like to introduce to you on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, we are going to use the Qualcomm Snapdragon 625. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we really wanted to Obviously, 625 has been Manu's favorite processor for two years. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, a couple of weeks back, we had a little incident. In Andhra Pradesh, one truck, which was surprisingly carrying all our 625 chips, got stolen. <laughs> so because we lost all our 625s, with the Redmi Note 7, we are bringing in an all new processor. <laughs> this processor is absolutely amazing. On Antutu, 2, this clocks in at a whopping 1.8 max. Trust me, nobody has seen a performance like this in this segment before. In fact, when we compared the Redmi Note 7 Pro with the previous generation Redmi Note 6 Pro, we have 155% the performance of the predecessor. It's a massive jump. Not just from a, a benchmark score perspective. We tested it time and again internally. Almost everything that you run, runs a lot faster. You see faster web browsing, game launches, <coughs> social media launches, almost everything is much, much faster on the Note 7 Pro. So, so these were benchmarks and these were comparisons. So we decided to go a step further. And we said, let's compare it with some really powerful devices out there. And where does it stand? So we decided to compare it with the Qualcomm 710. And versus the 710, the Redmi Note 7 Pro is almost 17% faster. There's another 710, which is not actually the real one. Uh, that obviously is, is much slower, but we'll get to that a little later. So, what we did was, this was Antutu. How about some other tests? 
like single core tests and you know multi core tests. So we also went to Geekbench and looked at that. So both single core, multi core. Of course, you've seen Antutu. It turned out to be the fastest device that was there. And of course, we've seen the the Oppo R17 Pro that does run seven, Snapdragon 710 retails for about forty six thousand rupees. And the Note 7 Pro beats it by a healthy margin. Why is that? Because the Redmi Note 7 Pro's processor uses the latest Trio 460 architecture. Now this uses the same ARM A76 cores as the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. It is a truly powerful chip. And this chip that we're using <coughs> on the Redmi Note 7 Pro is none other than an absolute phenomenal chip running on the cryo 460 architecture it's a 11 nanometer finfet process so it's not just more powerful but it's also a lot more efficient and yes it is an octa core chip We got to dive a little deeper. Okay. Now, as you saw, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 is a 11 nanometer, uh, based on 11 nanometer FinFET technology. It uses the latest Cryo 460 architecture, and it is a 8 core processor. With the 11 nanometer chipset or the process technology, you get better thermal. You get better power consumption and because of all of this you're able to push the entire performance to the old to a whole new level uh, on the 675 not just that when we dive a little deeper to find out why it's so powerful let's look at how the cpu works and in the cryo 460 cpu you've got two gold cores running arms a76 now these are super performance cores and then along with that you've got six silver arm uh, six silver cores which are run on arms a55 architecture now both of these are powerful but the gold cores do the major heavy lifting so all your games all the, your heavy 3d applications are in the gold cores while the silver ones are for your day-to-day -day performance so whether it's social media apps, whether you're listening to music, whether you're browsing, these silver cores step in there. But not just that. Obviously, we are also interested in gaming. And there we've got an all-new Adreno 612 GPU. And this GPU, when combined with the gold cores of the Cryo 460 CPU, take gaming all the way to the next level. Lesser frame, frame drops, but also an overall smoother gameplay. It's absolutely amazing, and we've tested this amongst all the latest games. Uh, a few of us got chicken dinners as well. The next part of this amazing chip is the Spectra ISP. Now this obviously is incredibly important because this has been engineered to support a 48 megapixel camera, right? And of course, you remember our tagline. Uh, not just the, the 48 MP camera, but it also has better depth sensing and a hint for a later slide, it also supports 4K video capture. And the last part that I want to talk about here is it comes with an all new DSP, uh, the Hexagon 685, which has much better AI processing, and hence that also adds further to your camera experience. Overall, this makes the Snapdragon 675 SoC, which is, as you saw, really powerful. And I'll just move to the next one. And we've combined this with up to 6 GB of LP DDR4X. Now we know LP DDR4X is the fastest RAM available for mobile phones right now and you get that on the Note 7 Pro. Not just that, but for the first time ever on a Redmi Note series, we are also introducing 
a 128 GB storage variant. Now, you combine this, you've got a super powerful Cryo 460 CPU, an all new Adreno 612 GPU, and up to 6 GB of DDR4X RAM, you've got an amazing gaming machine right in your hands. But that's the hardware part. We've also made optimizations when it comes to software. In fact, we're running MIUI 10 based on Android Pie, and from a performance point alone, there are more than 20 different optimizations that have been done. But just to highlight a few, uh, from a lock-free critical path and codependent prioritization, uh, it's able to run everything a lot more smoothly and push this entire system to a whole new level. Now it is a note and you've got so much power so it has to have a noteworthy battery and the Note 7 Pro comes with a 4000 mAh battery that easily lasts you two days on a single charge. Uh, and when you deep dive, it's almost 45 hours of 4G calling time if you were to call someone that long. Or what's really important and what I really care about as well, about eight and a half hours of gaming. Now this is absolutely incredible. Now this is a big battery and it's a powerful phone and we are saying that it's great for gaming. What you do need is when the battery goes down, you need to charge it up quickly, right? For that, again, a first for the Redmi Note series, you got Quick Charge 4. So, to sum it up, you've got the incredibly powerful Snapdragon 675 built on the Cryo 460 CPU. It has an Adreno 612 GPU, perfect for those heavy games. You've got MIUI 10 with Android Pie and bringing you all those optimizations and overall a smoother experience. Up to 6 GB of DDR4X RAM and 128 GB of storage. And of course, the Spectra 250L ISP. It's an all new ISP required for a massive camera. And with that, let's get into the most exciting part, the camera. Now, the camera on the Note 7 Pro is a combination of a 48 megapixel camera, and that's the primary camera, and along with that 48, you have a 5 megapixel depth sensor for those amazing portrait shots. Now, this 48 MP camera has probably generated a lot more buzz than any of our features ever before. In fact, uh, when I think about four weeks back is when we first talked about the fact that 48 MP is coming, we have got thousands and thousands of questions, comments uh, from a lot of our Mi fans as well, asking various aspects or various details. A lot of them wanted to know multiple aspects. Uh, so we've just taken some of those and put them here. So for example, Ashu wanted to know if this 48 megapixel was actually a real camera or is just software based. Or one of our if the processor can actually support anything more than 24 megapixel. Well, we've answered the last question, so we know that the new ISP can handle 48 megapixel, but let's look at the other two. So, on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, the camera that you get is a 48 megapixel camera, and the sensor that you get is the... Okay, so we've decided to use the highest resolution sensor available on any smartphone, period. It is an absolutely amazing sensor. It changes mobile photography forever. And of course, it is there on your Redmi Note 7 Pro. 
But before we deep dive, I want to show a couple of images. Let's play a little quiz. Can you guys guess what this is? Anyone from the top? I heard Game of Thrones wall. Okay, yes. It's, it's really hard to do this with me fans around. They know everything. Okay, yes. So this was a zoomed in shot of an air purifier. Or, let's take a look at this one. What is this? Sweater. Hello. This is the me neck pillow. <laughs> okay, Let, let's get into a couple of sample images. Now this is a shot of the Taj. Right? And uh, I'm gonna switch to Hindi for a bit here. Because this is a proper 48 megapixel shot. So, when we were taking this shot, I'm dur se dekh rahe So dur se dekha, to Taj Mahal dekh raha tha. दूर से देखा तो ताज महल देख रहा था पास जाके देखा तो कोई हमारी ही खींच रहा था लेट्स डू वन मोर दूर से देखा तो एक फतेहपुर सीकरी का किला दिख रहा था राइट हां थैंक यू पास जाके देखा तो कोई रिश्वत ले रहा था Okay, moving back, what you get with a 48 megapixel sensor or camera on the Note 7 Pro is incredible detailing. This, of course, is the Taj Palace Hotel in Mumbai. And what you can see is a daylight shot with all the details captured properly. Unfortunately, the screen itself isn't big enough to handle that resolution, but we are trying to get there. Now, in a shot like this, with the 48 megapixel camera, you can zoom in even further and without losing any detail. You can see all the details captured. In fact, you can even look at that pigeon and count the feathers that they've got on the edges. It's an incredible camera. And let's go to the next section where let's talk a bit more about how this camera works. So. We did talk about the fact that it's a 48 megapixel primary sensor clubbed with a 5 megapixel depth sensor. Diving a little deeper and looking at just the, the IMX586, now this is the highest resolution sensor ever put in a smartphone. It is a half inch stacked CMOS sensor. It is massive. Not just that, it also provides four times the dynamic range. So your photographs actually come out a lot better even if it was say in a similar situation. And all of this is happening because this all new sensor uses improved photoelectric conversion efficiency. What it means is it's able to handle that light better in that size. Uh, talking about the sensor size, where does a half inch sensor stand? So we compared it with some of the the products that are out there. It is the largest sensor or one of the largest sensors ever put on a smartphone. In fact, it is almost 27% larger than even the iPhone XS Max. I think we should price it somewhere there as well. Uh, of course, now we are talking about some flagships there, but we also looked at other mid rangers I don't think it's fair to compare. Uh, it's almost a 40% gap. But let's wait for the photographs there and we'll get into that. Now, this is possible with almost 48 million individual pixels that are sitting in this half inch sensor. It's a massive sensor with 48 million pixels. And in front of those, we have also got a six piece lens system and a wider than ever aperture of f1.79. It's the widest aperture we've ever put on a Redmi Note device. This gives you incredible 
detailed photographs like the ones you saw. In fact, uh, with this kind of a, a sensor size and getting 48 megapixel, you can print photographs almost 9 feet by 7 feet in size. It's that kind of a detailing. In fact, uh, I don't think, I don't know if you have a print. You could probably show a print of what this would look like, maybe a bit. Okay. So this is the image that you saw that was clicked by the Note 7 Pro and this is not even 9 feet by 7 feet. We can go a little bigger. We could have gone a little bigger as well. So this is the capability of the incredible 48 megapixel camera on the Note 7 Pro. But that's on its own. How does it compare with other phones? Let's take a look. Now this is the Note 7 Pro versus an iPhone XS and a OnePlus 60, the other flagships. And what you can see is a superior dynamic range and a lot more detail coming in the Note 7 Pro. In fact, if you go a little closer, you'll start seeing even more differences. In f if you look at this particular image, right, the, the writing on the wall is a lot more clearer in more ways than one. Uh, even the parts that are not well lit, uh, the Note 7 Pro is able to handle this light a lot better than even the flagships that are out there. But it is a 48 megapixel, so we can go even closer. And if you look at that, now this is a whole new level. When you've gone that close, if you look at the, the flag, the details on the Note 7 Pro are preserved, while both the XS and the 60 lose that detail out. Yep. Let's take a, take a look at one more. Now this is the OnePlus 60 versus the Note 7 Pro. And again, this is the photograph of Taj. I will not do Shero Shairi now, so you get a spared. Uh, what I want you to do is look at this little board here. Right? We talked about the fact that you've got incredible detailing on the Note 7 Pro. But not just that, you can clearly read You can clearly read the smallest font that is there. But what's also interesting is, I said, this sensor gives you a greater dynamic range. So if you look at the window at the back, not only is the Note 7 Pro able to capture the grill properly, but what almost every other phone would have missed out is there's a smaller grill behind this grill which has also been captured. It's incredible amount of detailing that's coming in to the Note 7 Pro's camera. Uh, no, no, those are flagships. And again, the reason we were comparing it with these flagships is the fact that we used a sensor that is built for the latest flagships. Uh, and I know some of uh, you guys would want to know how it compares with other devices in the mid-range as well. So we thought we'll do that. It, it's, it's not really fair. But we'll still do that. Now if you can look at this one, right? The Note 7 Pro is far ahead in terms of dynamic range, in terms of the details, and we'll get to the details in a bit, and the overall color reproduction. But this is a 48, so we go closer. And here's where you start seeing the impact of that dynamic range coming in. The grill is absolutely clear here while both of these other two devices start struggling. You want to see them struggle a bit more? Come on. Yes. Let's dive a bit more. Let's go even closer. And you can clearly see all the details on the Note 7 Pro while this is just a smudged photograph. So the Note 7 Pro is an incredible camera. Now I wanted to talk a bit more about the Note 7 Pro's camera settings. Now what you get is 48 megapixel shot. Now each image, because it has so much information, 
easily will be about 15 to 20 MB in size. Now this is big because when you start taking 48 megapixel cameras photographs in a GB you'll only be able to fit 50 to 60 photographs and this means that for most of our users you can run out of space really quickly. To improve this or basically make it easier for uh, not you guys and of course me fans will know all the settings but for uh, other layman person who comes in and buys the Note 7 Pro we have put the 48 megapixel camera in the Pro mode. So by default the photographs that you get are 12 megapixel and these are normally about 4 to 5 MB so you do not run out of space very quickly. But for all our me fans you want a 48, you want a true 48 you go into the pro settings and there on top you enable 48 megapixel to see those incredible shots come to life. Yeah? Okay. Let's move on to the next section. <clears throat> what do you do with a sensor this large? You excel at low light photography as well. And how this works is absolutely amazing. When the camera detects low light, it moves to combine four adjacent pixels into one super pixel. This super pixel is a 1.6 micron and now you take this 1.6 6 micron and club it with this improved electric conversion efficiency what you get is fantastic shots. Shots like this. Now this is a low light shot and what most cameras would struggle to capture is if you guys can read what's written on the typewriter GW4682 it's absolutely clear with the Note 7 Pro now this is a phenomenal camera and you see phenomenal results as well for example uh, and this is another shot that we took which was extremely low light conditions and on the left side you've got the iPhone 10s, and on the right side you've got the Note 7 Pro the 10s almost completely misses out the fact that there's a DJ booth in the middle. While on the Note 7 Pro, it's bright, it's clear, it's captured really well. Uh, moving beyond flagships uh, to other mid-range devices, again, like I said, it's not really fair. But if you take the same image with a Realme 2 Pro or a Samsung M20, uh, it's almost invisible. These guys really take their low light seriously. Sorry. Okay. So, sum it up. You get a 48 megapixel unbeatable detailing with the all new Sony IMX586 sensor. You've got a large half inch sensor that takes in so much more information. You've got a wider than ever before f1.79 aperture a 6 piece lens and of course when it's low light conditions a 1.6 micron super pixel and you've seen those results they're absolutely stunning even when the lighting conditions aren't great but being a red bean note we've decided to push it to the next level for the first time on the red bean note series we are also introducing a steady handheld night photography mode now this is based on Xiaomi's powerful AI algorithm and it does a remarkable job. So let me show you an example. Take a look at this night shot. It captures in so much detail. You can see the reflection of the lights captured perfectly. You can even see how the cement is. Right? A great shot. Agree? Well, we haven't even switched on the night mode. When you switch on the night mode, the party completely changes. See that again? Normal, much better than any of the other devices that you get in this price class. But with the night mode, it's a whole new level. Let's take a look at another shot. Without night mode, it's still a bright, clear shot. But when you take the same image with night mode, 
You can even see the writings up there. <clears throat> so how does the night mode compare? Versus the 10S, now the 10S does not have a night mode so it's not really fair. But even versus the 60, it's able to get all these details and handle the lights, uh, the light sources without really blowing out, without having any exposure challenges. In fact, let's take a look at another example. The Note 7 Pro night mode is capturing in a lot more detail than even the OnePlus 60. So, the Note 7 Pro, <clears throat> unbeatable detailing day as well as night. Then that's not all. We are still pushing ahead. On the camera, you also have AI scene detection as well as AI Portrait 2.0. Now we've talked about this before, so I'll just quickly recap. With AI scene detection, the Redmi Note 7 Pro's camera is able to hand, detect accurately 33 different scenes and change the overall saturation, improve the contrast, or all the tweaks that it needs to do to make it that perfect image for sharing. In fact, we've got India-specific changes made to this as well. Uh, an example would be this. Now, when you're taking a picture like this with the Note 7 Pro, it automatically detects that this is an architecture, this is a building, and enhances it. It improves the overall edges, it enhances the contrast, it bumps up the colors, it just makes it a lot more shareable on social media. Again, without subtle differences and making it a much better looking uh, image. Along with this, you've got AI Portrait 2.0. Now this is something that we all loved. Uh, with AI Portrait 2.0, you have adjustable bokeh, you've got studio lighting and light trails. With adjustable bokeh, we all love portraiture, but you get the control in your hands. You choose how much of that depth information you want to have on your image. And then you've got studio lighting, giving you these incredibly dramatic shots every single time. And you've got now eight unique effects, including one that's being built only for India. It's a holy effect. And you should get that pretty soon via an update. For the first time, we are also getting in a studio lighting live preview and the back camera. So you, can, you don't have to wait for the shot to be done and then you start editing, you will be able to see what the studio shot looks like live on the camera. And from AI Portrait 2.0, we also have light trails. So you've got multiple options and these are incredible photographs to share, especially on Instagram. In fact, if anyone, or I'm sure all of you follow Manu, uh, you would have seen what he did during Valentine's Day. Okay, so that's still photography. We are bringing in one more change to the video part and the camera. With the Note 7 Pro, you get 4K recording at 30 frames per second. It's a powerful device with an incredible camera. You can push it to the limits. And like the, note, <clears throat> the previous notes, we still have EIS when, for when you're taking those videos and you want to avoid that handshake that comes in. So that's the rear camera. Uh, on the front, we have a 13 megapixel camera. Now this enables AI portrait selfie. You've got scene detection up to 12 different scenes. When you're taking a selfie, it detects what's behind you and automatically enhances your image as well as the background depending on what the background is. Uh, you've got a studio lighting selfie for the first time and this should be fun. And of course it supports AI face unlock as well. So let's take a look at one shot which I really loved. Now, now this one is from the front camera and it's actually as, as you can see it's a portrait shot. The backgrounds are blurred beautifully, uh, the subject is in complete focus but the edge detection is on point. If you look at her hair, uh, right behind the hair, everything is blurred out. It's a stunning looking shot. Right? But what's really interesting and what most phones will struggle to do is when you've got two subjects in the same frame. Most phones will struggle to take that portrait shot 
accurately. You know, either you'll see blurs happening on one or the other, or, and I'm pretty sure almost 95% of the phones will not be able to do this. If you look at that little gap between these two, that is incredibly hard to find. And because of our enhanced AI semantic segmentation, we are able to detect where the subject is, where the background is, and apply that beautiful blur every single time. With the 13 megapixel front camera, you also have AI face unlock for those who prefer just look at the phone to unlock. We will be getting studio lighting selfie and this will come via an OTA. So to sum it up, the Note 7 Pro 48 megapixel camera beast, unbeatable detailing day and as you saw night as well. It's got a Sony IMX586 sensor, the largest highest resolution sensor ever put on a smartphone. And we've taken it to the next level with a wider f1.79 aperture. It also supports 4K recording and an all new night mode. Uh, of course from a portraiture perspective you've got a 5 megapixel depth sensor and you saw you can get some amazing portrait shots with the AI scene detection and portrait 2.0. In the front you've got a 13 megapixel AI front camera which does AI face beautify, uh, scene detection, face unlock as well as a studio lighting selfie that's coming pretty soon. Now Note 7 Pro, <coughs> a lot has changed. From the Note 6 Pro, we have to, of course changed the camera. Uh, it moves to a 48 megapixel camera with the 5 megapixel depth sensor. Uh, the super pixel is a 1.6 micron super pixel now, giving you amazing low light photography. Even the aperture, aperture is bigger, so it lets in a lot more light, getting you a lot more details. We've used an all new Snapdragon 675, pushing the overall smartphone performance to the next level. We saw it is 17% faster than even the Snapdragon 710. We've got an all new immersive design. We've got a 15, 19.5 to a 9 watch display. We've got Corning Gorilla Glass 5, both in the front and the back. And this glass is curved beautifully <coughs> that fits into the frame. We've got Quick Charge 4 supported. We've got an all new Type C first for a Redmi Note. We've got 4K UHD recording. We've got EIS and of course a noteworthy 4000 mAh battery and dual SIM, dual Volti. It's not dual SIM, dual standby. It supports DSTV. So, a 48 megapixel camera beast in all this glory. Again, to recap. 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 sensor. Absolutely incredible. You saw the results. It is a flagship sensor that we are putting in the Note 7 Pro. It's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 giving you flagship level gaming experience. It's got dual Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and an all new gradient design which looks absolutely stunning. It's got a 13 megapixel AI front camera, an all new immersive dot notch display which is 6.3 inch full HD plus and a noteworthy 4000 mAh battery with quick charge 4 supported. So let's take an overall look at the product through a product video.
I'm sure you guys are gonna love this phone. Absolutely sure. Okay, so that's the Note 7 Pro. Moving on, the second surprise. Now this one is something that you anyways expecting. The Redmi Note 7. Now with the Redmi Note 7, we have performance redesign. And we'll get into each of these, but again, we are redefining what you get in its particular class. Let's get into performance. The Note 7 is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 AIE. No 625 because we lost them. It is a 2.2 GHz octa-core processor and it absolutely changes everything else in its price class. It's based on a Cryo 260 architecture and it's got 4 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores. So essentially your gaming as well as your day to day tasks are easily handled. Now uh, why am I saying that this is a, a game changer or the best in its class? We have over the past couple of weeks or a few, yeah, a pa recent past, we have seen a couple of devices that launched with the so-called Snapdragon 660 processor. In fact, we found about four of them. And these range from about 15,000 all the way to about 25,000. And all of them claim that they're running a Qualcomm Snapdragon 660. So we decided to test how the Note 7 performs versus all of them. The Note 7 is on an average 10% faster than any of these devices. And you guys know why? Any guesses? It's because none of them were actually giving you a proper 660. All of them called out 660. They wrote about 660 in their product data sheets. Uh, you know, they had the media briefs given out saying it's a 660, but in fact, it was a 660 Lite. And you get 10% lesser performance with that. In fact, me fans, if you know anyone who bought any of these devices, you should go and ask them to ask the brand to get their money back. At least 10% discount. So with the Note 7, you get a proper high performance Snapdragon 660. Uh, so these are obviously 660 Lite. We also decided to compare the Note 7 with some of the other recently launched devices. So you saw the Honor 10 Lite running a Kirin 710 and there's a, a couple of Samsung devices that use the same processor, the Exynos 7904. So both, both these have different price points but the same processor. So we decided to compare with these as well. Uh, of course, you know what the result is going to be, right? It's a Redmi Note. There's a massive difference. In fact, not only does it outperform the Kirin 710 by a margin of about 10%, but there's an almost 30% gap when you compare this with the Exynos 7904. I don't think it's really fair to compare these two. Now it is a note and we're talking about performance. Of course, you expect a 4000 mAh two day battery. And like the Note 7 Pro, the Redmi Note 7 also gets support for Quick Charge 4. Moving on to the next section, the Redmi Note 7 camera. Now we gave a few of our Mi fans the Redmi Note 7 to go and test and they came back with some incredible snaps. Photographs like this. Now this is a portrait shot and it's absolutely stunning. You can of course see uh, Xiaomi's semantic segmentation working perfectly but even the detailing that you see on the subject is absolutely on point. In fact, let's go a little further out and a little more complex as a situation. 
take a look at this shot now the colors the detailing <coughs> the detailing the vibrancy all of that has been preserved really well and this one is my personal favorite uh, this is from Jaipur and this was during a very cloudy day so it's a harder shot to get but the Note 7 does that perfectly so on the Redmi Note 7 what we have is dual camera setup a 12 megapixel primary clubbed with a 2 megapixel depth sensor and this 12 megapixel primary sensor is a 1.25 micron sensor so about 25% larger overall pixel area compared to a traditional 1.12 and hence gathering in a lot more light to give you those results that you just saw like the Note 7 Pro the Note 7 also will get a steady handheld night photography mode and this of course you can see it dramatically changes and improves the overall low light performance the Note 7 also has a 13 megapixel front camera and it gives you those amazing pictures <coughs> you get an AI portrait selfie you got AI beautify you have AI scene detection and of course it supports face unlock if you look at this particular example like the Note 7 Pro you can clearly figure out how well this has worked in fact the gap between the two subjects is even bigger and you can clearly see that the background has been blurred out while the subjects are completely in focus all the details have been preserved and the edge detection is absolutely flawless moving on to the design the Note 7 also follows the aura design philosophy you've got an immersive experience incredible focus on the detail yet retailing retaining all the, the functional aspects of the device the Note 7 has a 6.3 inch dot notch display it is again a 19.5 is to 9 display it's a full high definition plus display and it still features the super expensive LTPS in cell screen technology and because of all of this you know we are able to get smaller bezels and like the Note 7 Pro the Note 7 also features Corning Gorilla Glass 5 both at the front and the back no compromises here it comes in three amazing colors <coughs> we have the onyx black and this looks incredibly classy we've got the ruby red and the sapphire blue I, I just love how the the light kind of reflects off the back it's absolutely amazing uh, let's look at all the three colors together the onyx black the sapphire blue and the ruby red so Redmi Note 7 performance redesign it's built for people our fans who want that performance coming in in this price class it is not an underclocked version it is not a light version it gives you the proper performance of a snapdragon 660 of course you've got the immersive dot notch full high definition plus display and it still has Gorilla Glass 5 both at the front and the back uh, you have this incredible reflective design and these three colors you have a 13 megapixel AI front camera you have a 12 megapixel camera at the back which is a larger 1.25 micron size and of course a 4000 mAh noteworthy battery with quick charge 4 supported as well as a type C a 3.5 mm jack, IR remote and P2I nano coating. Now both these devices uh, we've pushed our core philosophy even further. When we build any product for India we keep in mind providing the highest quality that we can and the Note 7 and the Note 7 Pro are no exceptions. In fact to talk about quality I like to call Manu back on stage to take you through some of the initiatives that we've done. Thank you, man. Okay, so this is probably one of my favorite topics, quality. And you know, there are three big pillars of Xiaomi. Best specs, honest price, and highest quality. 
and quality has been a huge focus area at Xiaomi globally as well as at India. Our CEO Chairman Lei Jun says that innovation determines how high we soar and quality determines how far we go. We believe if we cannot build really great quality products, we cannot succeed from a long-term perspective. If we have to sustain this growth, if we have to continue to remain the number one brand, we have to build the best quality products for all our Mi fans here in the country. For this, we have built a new quality department in Xiaomi India, and it has been focusing on a lot of small improvements for all of you guys. There are three specific things that I would like to talk about today, which are applicable for both Redmi Note 7 and Redmi Note 7 Pro. The first, improvement in durability. Second, we have made these phones splash proof. And third, we have tried to improve user experience. So let's talk about each one of them. Durability. Now, this is a study done by Corning, which says, on an average, a user drops a phone from a height of one meter seven times a year. Seven times a year. And we wanted to ensure that even if you drop the phone seven times, 10 times, even more number of times, it should be able to withstand it both on the front as well as on the back. So of course, we have Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on both front and back. And not just this, we have increased the thickness of the glass. On an average, a glass is just about 0.7 mm thick. And we have added one extra layer and we have made it 0.8 mm thick just so that you get a very durable device. We have also introduced a new technology called as glass edge polishing. Now what it does is, there could be a lot of really small cracks. Such small cracks that you cannot even see them from your naked eyes. And this technology really ensures that we do not get these kind of cracks even if you drop your phone. Plus we have reinforced all the four corners. So if you drop the phone, uh, there nothing will happen to your phone, hopefully. And to show this, uh, we have some really cool videos. The first one from Sumit. Uh, who is showing us how to create a really good salad. Let's watch this video. salad. Okay, how about this? We try it with something very unique. I tried multiple things yesterday. The hardest object that I could find in this hall was a walnut. And so we decided to 